hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to integrate ClickUp to google docs let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in google docs i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go while ClickUp doesn't offer a direct integration with Google Docs, there are several ways to link and integrate Google Docs into your ClickUp workflow using available features like Number one is going to be embedding a link. For example, you're chatting with someone. All right. You can simply embed a link right here. If you switch on the send email, you would be able to add a block. For example, it's going to be um, like a website link. All right. And all you're going to do is switch over to your Google Docs. Now, for example, this is going to be uh, the file that we're working with. I want you to copy the link and switch over to your ClickUp account. And from here, click again the plus button to add a block. And that's going to be for the web link. All right so that's that that's one way the next option is you see another option is on the left side panel of your task you see here we can simply hover down below on the attachment all right drag your files to upload and you can see the google new google docs option now sign in with your account and click on continue and you would be able to integrate Google Docs to your ClickUp task, all right? So select all. Voila, you made it happen. That's two-way, wherein you can create your Google Docs, right? I'm going to name this as this one. Create your Google Doc. I'll wait for it. The status is going to be shown here, all right? It's zero per for now. And as you can see, you have integrated ClickUp to Google Docs. Now open a Google if you wanted. What will happen is you would be forwarded to a new page. This is going to be that. All right. Now you see when you hover to the upper right corner where you can see the quick actions menu and click on the app center. And if you search for the Google Docs here, there's no direct integration here for ClickUp. All right. There's not a native feature. But what we can do instead is going to use Zapier. And as you can see, you can simply click this orange button to connect click up to Google Docs and automate your work and have all these endless possibilities. You would be forwarded to a new page wherein we are going to create our Zap. And if you are a big fan of our Deep Labs channel, you know that we have so many Zapier automation tutorials for you. You might want to click the subscribe button so you get updated on our latest content here on gplabs because we upload daily to help you solve your problems quickly now i'm switching over to the zapier because we wanted to select Now, as you can see, we need to click the uh, event for ClickUp. Now, are you going to use this option that says it triggers when a new comment is added to a task in ClickUp? Or are you going to choose the triggers when new folders are created? So it's all up to you depending on your goal for this automation or workflow. But for now, I'm going to use it triggers when new lists are created. And of course, from here, all you have to do is click on change. I mean, sorry, I'm clicking on continue. And we need to select the workspace. For now, I'm going to select the default value, which is Deep Labs How To Tutorials. Just wait for it on this space. I'm going to use uh, this one. Folder is going to be um, projects. Wait for it. Now, I need you to click on continue. Continue. 
Now all you have to do is click on the test triggers and follow these steps to connect both your ClickUp and Google Docs account and configure how data should pass between them. You can select the uh, analyst here. I'm going to choose the first one. Continue. Now for Google Docs, you might want to choose an event. For example, it creates a document from template. Or are you going to choose it creates a document from a text? I'm going to choose the first one. And of course, you need to sign in with your account if you haven't already. Now click on allow. Click on continue once you're satisfied with the automation. All right. All I'm going to do is activate the zap. All right. Just wait for it. Click and continue, and that's that. All right. Now you can sit back and relax because Zapier will do all the work for you. All right. Now, another option that you could explore is using Integrately. If you haven't already, you might want to click the sign up option because it's free. Now, on the Google Docs plus ClickUp integration, you can connect all these and automate your workflows in one click, all right? It's very easy. You have all this option, create ClickUp task from new Google Docs file, or you wanted to create Google Docs files for a new ClickUp task. It's all up to you. For example, you wanted to create your own Google Docs and ClickUp integration. You see with this arrow, select while we'll start the automation. Click on document is created in Google Docs or document is created in folder for Google Docs and select what automation is going to be for that, all right? All you're going to do is click on this option to get started for free. And of course, you can sign up using Google, Google account or your Facebook. I'm going to use my Google. Now here, all we have to do is click the activate button. Just wait for it. It's creating the uh, workflow for you. It's very easy. Again, I need to sign into Google Docs. I'm going to do that right now. And of course, click on continue. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions. And I believe that by using all of these methods, you can efficiently integrate Google Docs into ClickUp, improving your workflow, and keeping your documents and project management tools connected. Just wait for it. Like Zapier, it'll do all of the work for you. And I believe that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.